that was my uh, guardian angel. And, uh, huh. and um, at that time, again, a very peaceful feeling, very relaxed feeling came over me. And um, he said he had to go. And the uh, next thing you know, I woke up on my daughter's room. Huh. He woke up to a second chance, one that can't be explained by medicine or science. As Dr. Crandall puts it, the only answer is divine intervention. You're speaking to a scientist, a cardiologist, someone who loves medicine. I've never, ever seen this. And there are always people that do not believe these events. And I would just tell them that it did happen. It was a real story, a real life that was restored. Jeff wasn't exactly a believer before that day. He didn't regularly attend church or read the Bible. But this experience has made him believe there is a higher purpose for his life. I feel like that maybe I'm supposed to be a messenger. I want to get the right message across that miracles do happen. A miracle that brought him life after death. I'm so happy, you know, like I have a second chance. down there you can see the fluorescence in the water you know you lift the water up and the fluorescence is just sparkling beautiful night and we came down to Rivière Noir which is on the outer reef and dropped in and we started um, getting crayfish best you can do, I'm going back to New Zealand. Hey, 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 don't make this, man. You can? We're going to wake up the shark. <laughs> no worries, mate. It's quite dark because the clouds are coming in, so there was no real moonlight. and There's a little bit of a chop on the water. dive on the outer reef. And as we dived, we'd, we'd look with our diving torches because the crabs and the crayfish would come out. And with your torchlight, you could blind them. And with your leather gloves, just pick them up. and started making out these jellyfish, box-shaped, finger-like tentacles. I thought, well, is that, a, is that a jellyfish? Yeah, it must be. So I reached out, and sure enough, it was a jelly. As I swam through, I had no idea that I'd just reached out and grabbed potentially the deadliest, some say the second deadliest creature known to man, a box jellyfish, obviously, because it's box-shaped. 
but it's transparent, bell-shaped with cube, like a cube underneath the bell with finger-like tentacles coming out. I actually thought it was like a transparent cuttlefish, or a, it was a very unusual looking jellyfish. Something smashed the bar with stung me. And it felt like thousands of volts of electricity went through my arms. It literally shook me in the water. As I swam towards them, I started getting stung by more. Hit a fourth time. I realise he's frayed from his brothers on the reef. I just lay down on the ground. And I started to feel very weak and tired. I feel my eyes beginning to shut, and as my eyes begin to close, I hear a voice speak to me. It says, son, if you close your eyes, you shall never awake again. I said, what? Who said that? As I looked to my right, I expected to see a man standing next to me, but there was no one there. I said, that's bizarre. But I knew I'd heard a voice speak to me. Close your eyes, you'll never awake again. So that means you'll die. What are you doing trying to go to sleep here? You idiot. This is a coma. You can't afford to sleep. You need any serum, any toxins. See, I intellectually knew this as a lifeguard. But here I am, confronted with the fact that this poison is just taking me out. And I'm unaware that I'm on the edge of potential coma and, I believe, certain death. So I stood up fought off the, 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 the death that was coming on me as best I could and found my left leg was still strong enough to support my weight.